co-government expert Dr. Eric Odosai wants Metropolitan Municipal and District Assembly members to unanimously approve the appointees to avert further disruptions in local governance. There's been concerns over the delay of the appointment of the MMDCs. He spoke to my colleague, Dela Michel. The overall development at the district level has been the day-to-day -day responsibility of MMDCEs as stipulated in Article 243 of the 1992 Constitution. Though the appointment is a sole prerogative of the President, the delay in the naming of these MMDCEs has left many agitated as they claim development in the various districts have stalled. Residents of Gamashi have already expressed dissatisfaction with their acting MCE and are calling for his replacement. We have not seen any developmental changes since he became an MCE. We prefer new now to bring change. I rather prefer the role of the MC being given to our traditional leaders. We keep paying levies within the community and they have not been put to good use. Governance expert and director general at the internal audit agency, Dr. Odo Asai, Aldo is of the view the delay in their appointment has not entirely affected development. It is important that the assemblies unanimously approve the appointees to avert further interruptions in local governance. I advise all assemblies to go ahead and quickly set up meetings to approve the MMDCs without further delay so that these MMDCs will quickly come and then hit the ground running because if they delay in approving the MMDCs, then they have to start all over again. And remember, the president has the right to withdraw an MMDC and then replace the MMDCs if the assemblies fails to approve the president's nominee. There were more than 1,300 applications nationwide for the MMDCE positions.